The Tombstone Gold Belt is a geological feature that stretches from central Alaska and through the central Yukon Territory. And conventional thinking was always that the Gold Ridge zones are in the west end of that belt, like Fort Knox in Alaska, and that as you come east into the Yukon, it gets less cold fertile and more tungsten rich. Of course, we have Mac Tung down in the, in the eastern Yukon near McMillan Pass. We're not too far from Mac Tung, and yet we've found a substantial gold discovery there along that belt. So we've really turned the conventional thinking on its head. Sitka Gold, we're an exploration company, and our main project, the RC Gold project, is in the Yukon in the Tombstone Gold Belt. It's a new gold discovery. We announced a, a resource uh, January of 2023, and we're continuing to figure out how big it is. Victoria Gold is now producing from the Eagle Mine. There's been over 11 million ounces of additional resources found since uh, 2020 by people working in the Tombstone Gold Belt in the Yukon alone. Tombstone Gold Belt is well documented in terms of its broad extent, but it hasn't been explored in much detail. But this is about a 100 kilometer plus belt of permissive rocks that could host similar deposits to Victoria's Eagle deposit. Onyx Gold is a Canadian-focused exploration company. We have a portfolio of properties in Yukon, and specifically in the eastern part of the Tombstone Gold Belt. We have this really united front that really helps draw attention, but also dollars and investment and, and really move along the permitting and, and really open up a, a new frontier of Canada. Banyan is an advanced exploration company. We have a 7 million ounce inferred gold resource at a grade of 0.63 in the Yukon, right next to two operating mines. You know, the Tombstone Belt is quite an anomaly. To have brand new major discoveries at this this time, after there's already been the gold rush and 100 years of mining in the Yukon, is actually pretty exceptional. You look at, you know, Snowline's discovery in 2021, ours in 2019, right beside a road with a power line right beside it. And you think about how underexplored that must mean the rest of the Yukon is. And what we're finding now is just incredible finds, like actually nation leading projects. Um, so we're very focused on ensuring the right infrastructure is in place. We're looking to see that the great partnerships are in place between those mining companies and the local First Nations. And really the sky's the limit on what can happen with some of the work that's being done in that area. 